Hi everybody, I'm back. Welcome to the first Fit Diaries after my vacation in Brazil. I actually got back on Wednesday last week, but I've yet to do any kind of an update because I'm still kind of processing everything that uh, has been going on with my life and really trying to boil down for you kind of what the changes that I'm going through and just the thought processes and how kind of things are coming together in a way that I both didn't expect and I'm really enjoying. So basically I was gone for, for two weeks to visit some family that is living in Brazil and I took that opportunity to completely detach myself from kind of the fitness lifestyle that I've been working so hard towards for the last three, three and a half years. And it was a really great experience. I, the only thing that I kind of went into it with expectations was that I wanted to stay active. I had a simple body weight workout that I wanted to make sure that I did on a regular basis with some rehab type exercises. I'm rehabbing my shoulder and I'm rehabbing my knee right now. And really the only other thing was making sure that I got a lot of healthy foods in my diet, but otherwise pretty much kind of eating what I wanted and just stopping when I was full. That was it. I didn't have any crazy plans. I didn't pack my food scale to take with me. I kind of wanted to step away from that for a little bit because like I've talked about before in past blogs, when it comes down to show prep and being 100% on plan and just going for it with no mistakes, I've, I've done that. I've shown that I can do that. I can be 100% on plan. I can pack my food everywhere that I have to go. I know that I can do that, but that's not sustainable for life. It's not the kind of life that I want to live all the time in order to be able to maintain a, a body that I feel comfortable in. So one of my experiments since uh, starting to feel that way this year has been practicing moderation because that's something that I've never been able to master. I'm always on season or I'm off season and feeling horrible about the state that I'm in. So it's been my goal to really practice moderation, practice a normal healthy lifestyle that just involves proper portions of healthy good for me foods with a little bit of extras here and there, enjoying little bits of dessert, enjoying wine without feeling like it's a cheat or it's going to mess up my whole goal. Um, and that's really what I've been been working towards and the, my recent vacation was a great time to practice that because it got me out of my normal, um, my normal routine and it was a really good time to spend with family. I had something else entirely to, to focus on, which was perfect. I kind of reconnected and just was able to really relax and enjoy myself. And yeah, I gained a little bit of weight, but I don't care. It's, it's not a big deal. It's a few extra pounds. I'm kind of rehabbing right now. I don't have my super intense workouts and I just feel completely like I'm totally fine with the way that I am right now and I know that once I get back into my routines that that little bit extra will, will come off but I'm in no hurry to get rid of it because I really feel like that's just falling back to what I know. You know, you, you come back from whatever you feel like you're off the wagon and you immediately kind of think you got to kick your butt and get back in the gym and cut out all the sweets and that kind of whiplash back and forth has been what I've been doing for the past three and a half years and it's not how I want to maintain long term. So it's been a conscious choice for me to just be happy with where I'm at right now, maintain through the holiday season, focus on my rehabbing and focus on continuing to do what I'm doing with my diet. So mostly healthy foods, eyeballing good portions, eating when I'm hungry and stopping when I'm full and just kind of keeping an eye on the scale, make sure that I'm sort of maintaining where I want to maintain and that my clothes still feel good and that's it. I'm not putting any extra pressure on myself to you know survive the holiday season which is some a term and a concept that I completely despise. I hate that that that's what the holiday season has become and I have a whole nother thing coming up about that, but really that's, it's not what it's about. 
and it's about spending time with your family and and I'm getting a little bit off track here and like I said that's coming up so I'm gonna go back to what I was talking about um, and that's just that you know I'm I'm happy with where I'm at right now and I have other priorities than being at my optimal leanness for off season I know the amount of work that it would take me to get there I know exactly what it is that I would need to do to get there I'm just not doing it right now I'm focusing on maintaining instead and being happy with where I'm at and I need to show myself that I can maintain without having to weigh my food all the time and be stressed out and pack my food and take it everywhere with me. I need to show myself that I can make good choices when I'm out and about and having to find food and that I can enjoy one cookie without it turning into 12. And I'm really happy to say that in the past few weeks that's exactly what I've been able to do. And there has not been that internal drive that there usually is when I you know have a few chocolates that therefore I need to eat the whole box and I'm just not having that I'm satisfied after one or two I'm satisfied after one glass of wine and don't feel like I need to have more and I'm really really happy with how I'm feeling overall I'm at peace with where I'm at even though I'm fully confident in where I'm going and that I'll get there I'm not letting myself be frustrated by that I'm not there yet and it feels really great and kind of the ultimate shift for me the biggest shift in in my thought process and the biggest help is I've kind of gotten rid of thinking about making mistakes as far as I'm concerned I don't make mistakes anymore because that's not helpful to beat yourself up for oh I screwed up I made a mistake Instead, I think about it like I haven't perfected it yet. You know, you try a new recipe, you try something new, it's probably still pretty good, maybe not exactly where you'd want it to be yet, so what do you do? You keep trying it. You keep trying and you keep tweaking it until it's exactly what you want it to be. It doesn't mean that all the other attempts were mistakes or failures. It's just that you haven't perfected it yet. You haven't gotten it exactly where you want it to be yet. So you just need to keep practicing. And that is how I'm thinking about my journey now. I'm practicing at something new. I'm practicing at moderation as opposed to 100% on a plan, weighing my food, kind of competition prep sort of lifestyle or completely off track and not feeling good about myself and overeating. I'm somewhere in the middle, allowing myself little extra treats here and there mostly sticking to healthy foods because I like the way it makes me feel and working out not just to lose body fat but to get stronger and to feel better and to fix my body in areas that need to be fixed and that is what I'm focusing on right now and it's I don't make mistakes I simply continue to find the ways that work best and when I find ways that don't work as well I let them go and that's that's all, it, that's all it's about. I'm, I'm letting go of the negativity anywhere that it crops up in my life because it's not helpful. Anytime you have a thought, anytime something comes up in your mind about your personal fitness journey, I want you to ask yourself if it's helpful or not. If it's something that causes you stress, anxiety, makes you feel bad about yourself, makes you feel guilty, it's not helpful. Let it go. Just let it go and focus on those things that are helpful. Eating well, moving your body, giving your body what it needs. Maybe it needs some extra rest, more water, stretching, whatever it is that you need. Just focus on giving your body what it needs and let go of everything else. And that's really what I'm focusing on right now and I hope that you'll join me with that and in working on changing those thought processes because I know a lot of people out there think the same way that I used to and I really hope that I can help some people accept themselves, be at peace with the way they are right now while they work towards where they want to be. And that's where I'm at right now guys and I'm really really happy about it. So I hope you'll continue to follow my journey through my off season as I prepare to get ready for another competition season whenever that will be my body will let me know when I'm ready for it 
and that's where I'm at right now. So I'm back from vacation. It's really good to be with you guys again. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share with anyone that you think might benefit from it. And we'll see you guys again next week. Bye.